and welcome back from the commentary side of things anyway to Tat Fun Division, our NEA, NEA, NEAFL match that we're covering today is Thunder versus Redland Bombers and an exciting opening team it was too. Redland Bombers had the better of it, 7-2-44, Thunder 5-2-32, 12 goals in an opening term of football, Dale Fletcher. Yeah, very, very opening uh, first term. Uh, the defences uh, were not on top to say the least, uh, a little bit of uh, slingshot football in effect at both ends of the ground and uh, oh, it's a, a day for forwards. Well, ready to start the second term, timekeeper Terry Bell blows the horn. And we'll resume this battle between the two. Ruckman, Kenrick, Tyrrell and Reynolds. Travis Reynolds from the Bombers. Tyrrell has had the better of it so far and he had the better of that as well. Got the tap down to Cameron Islet. Couldn't quite get it to Vassal. The ball came back to Islet. Now Vassal has got it. Wheels around on the left boot. Kicks towards centre half forward. Up in the marking contest. The nail gun bait and now can almost took the footy with him. Now the Bombers defenders get there. Rosier applies a tackle. Ball spills free. Lachlan Arga slams it on the boot and sends it deep into the forward pocket for NT Thunder. Chris Dunn gets there first. Can't keep it in play, even if that's what he was attempting to do. I'm not <laughs> sure he was. We'll get a boundary throw in about 35, 40 metres around from the Thunder's goal. Nail gun almost away. I'm a bit disappointed. I missed, missed the alert call. <laughs> The throw in. Chambers doing the ruck work up inside the attacking 50. Here's Rosier with the footy. Gets around onto his favoured left boot. Snaps in towards the goal square. How will this bounce? Argus after the footy. Written into the ground. And it's actually Chris Dunn. The umpire's paid it for being held while not in possession. One or the other, if you ask me. And Dunn will shoot for goal from point blank range. Yeah, the snap in from uh, Matty Rosier. Always knew it was going to bounce over everyone's head. And uh, that's how it panned out. Looks probably um, something unique to football here in Alice Springs and, and maybe over in WA. Get a high bounce here. Mm. The ground is firm and the footy does bounce high. I've seen a lot of blokes scored out <laughs> over the years <laughs> just running in and thinking they can cover it and it's gone straight over their head. That's so goal to Dunn. Yeah, it resulted in six points to Dunn and uh, this is exactly what uh, Thunder needed to uh, start this second quarter and uh, let's see if they can uh, go, go on with it rather than uh, what happened in the first quarter. The bounce board, the Bombers undone, but allowed Dunn to kick one. Six points of difference, Redland 7-2, Thunder 6-2. Almost two minutes played in the second term. So Tyrrell versus Reynolds again in the ruck. There's been a dominating display by Tyrrell so far. He didn't even go and contest that one. The umpire's going to recall it, as they do when it uh, wins the favour one ruckman over the other. Yeah, that's what happens when you try and... Bounce a football on Stan Coombe's cricket pitch. Mm. <laughs> and they toss it up. <laughs> Terrell, great ruck work again. He got his hands on it. Gee, trying to weave his way out there was Phil Cass. It's come unstuck here for the Bombers. Shannon Rioli with a footy running through the centre. Got through some traffic, had a bounce and delivers to Dunn, who marks about 40 metres out from goal. A couple of their passages out of the middle have mm, been good. Very good. And uh, Buff Ewing has just gone up to uh, Dunn's direct opponent, uh, Sam Pullman and uh, just give him a little bit of advice on how to uh, defend him. <laughs> mm. Well, he wouldn't want to do what he did the previous one. He pulled him. Yeah. Don't pull, man. Don't. Done. To shoot for goal. For his second in the term. Oh, mm. Close. One point, though. And the margin is five points in favour of the Redland Bombers. Thunder a 6 3. Redland are 7 2. They bring the ball back into play at the Todd Riverside. Jack McEwen's going to get to the footy first. He's heading in the Bombers' direction. He's got one right on his tail there, Tom Salter. Packer develops over here, two on two. The handball comes out. It was a little bit indiscriminate. In goes Rosier. Can't take it with him. Ball spills free. McEwen gets it, slams it onto the boot. It's a floater deep inside 50. Ewing there. Didn't get the uh, probably the bounce he was looking for. Chambers goes in, spills to Dunn. Dunn will go in towards goal again, and this time he's put it through for his second of the term. He's kicked two goals, one in about three and a half minutes in this term, Chris Dunn. And now Thunder are in front by a point. Magnificent goal there, Chris Dunn. Purple patch to start the second quarter, and uh, I think Buff might have a little bit more for you. Some words. more advice. Yeah. Wouldn't go astray. Yes. But front and centre, uh, probably were the last place you'd think Chris Dunn would be. He should be flying for the marks, but his front and centre went straight into the bed basket and straight over. The goal umpire's hat. So two quick goals to start the second term. 
we're in teeth thunder and they've turned what was a 12 point deficit at quarter time into a one point lead and Tyrrell has been the catalyst at the centre bounce in the ruck. Oh, two ruckmen just ran at each other and didn't even get anywhere near at that time. They were miles away. Handball out by Brad Rees for the Bombers. Intercepted by Vassal. Vassal tried to pop the handball over the top. I think he uh, saw Wilson King on the run out in the wing. It's gone the other way, though. Phil Cast with it, delivers inside 50, looking for the other Pullman. The one that's up forward for the Bombers couldn't mark. Crumbs to Ben Rioli, gets it out to Shannon Rioli. They'll come down the grandstand side of the ground. Rioli with it on the halfback Kick. flank. Yeah, lovely pass. Got it to Aaron Motlop, who marked on the half forward flank. He kicks out in front of Ewing. A whistle's gone. Oh, I don't know why the whistle was there. Jumper held is a signal from the umpire. Must have been Ewing's free kick. Must have been before the kick <laughs> went towards him, I think. I, I didn't see anything I else happen to Motlop who kicked it in. Nothing happened to him afterwards. No. Ewing won't mind. He's got a set shot goal here from only about 20, 25 metres directly out in front. He doesn't miss those. Puts it through. Thunder have got their third goal of this second term. Only five and a half minutes gone. They trailed by 12 points a quarter time and now lead by seven. No, great start. Um, Coach Daniel Archer might, might have had a few choice words to him at, uh, at the first break, but uh, looked pretty calm and collected there um, uh, during the quarter time huddle. But uh, good way to respond, and uh, Ewing one out in the goal square is uh, always very dangerous, especially uh, here at Traeger Park. So far, it's a game that's been played in a little bursts, hasn't yeah. it? Let's hope Thunder can maintain this one for a bit longer. Well, it's a bit of a roller coaster ride so far. This ruck contest is intriguing. I couldn't believe how far away from the footy these two ruckmen got last time. Neither of them got near it. This time they have a go. <laughs> and neither of them got a hand on it again. At least they were close to it this time. Pack develops in the centre circle, so we'll get to see it again. That'd be Matt Rosier down the bottom, wouldn't it? Yes, it is. It's another dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Ching. <-ching. laughs> So Tyrrell, this time he gets the chance to use the bodywork. Oh, plucked it out uh, of the air. The Falcon. And, yeah, kick was smothered by his own teammate there in the end. Vassal, Grewer gets it for the Bombers, sends it along and direct. Pullman in front of Pryor. Pryor, good spoil. Then the tackle, put the pressure on. He'll have to go in again, the big fella. Now Smith comes in to assist. He's lost it. The ball spills to Pullman. A floating kick around the body in towards goal. Aaron Mosley Black to get a fist on it for Thunder and send it over the defensive boundary line. Good, good effort work, there, Pryor. Pryor. Great yeah. work. Second, third, fourth efforts. And uh, look, we've got to say, Pullman gave the second effort too. He still ended up getting a shot in towards goal. Mm. Tyrrell in the front position, hands on it, plucked it out of the air again, tried to get the kick away. Is that a free kick? I reckon it might be that one. Mm. That's the one if you catch it on the full from a ruck contest and you tackle, it's automatically deemed holding mm. the ball. But he tapped it to himself. So mm. it was a he got first. a tap and then took it, didn't he? Mm. Interesting. So Damien Stephen, little Stiffy. The son of Big Stiffy Darrell. I think Kendrick the Big Stiff to give away the big free stiff. kick. Yeah. Damien Stephen, it's only about oh, 30 metres out when he kicks this. Slight angle, he's given a bit of a hook. You don't want to go towards that post at Traeger Park. You always aim for the post on the other side of Grant Butler. Butler. It's mm. on his left side as he stands. So a point on the board, the margin, six points in favour of Thunder. Eight minutes gone in this second term. Jordan Wilson King with the kick in for Thunder. Comes grandstand side looking for Lachlan Argus. Went Zufa. Got hands on the footy. In fact, it was Jordan Bain that went up and got hands on the footy and saw it over the boundary line. And Zufa turns around and chases Lachlan Argus back as Argus heads back towards the wing area. So boundary throw in. This time it's Gartner for the Bombers that will go against Tyrrell. Tyrrell got hands on it again, slapped it down towards the front. Grew was there. A little handball, had that handball too wide, taken over the boundary line by Matt Bomber Thompson. We'll get a boundary throw in 60, 65 metres out from the Redland goal. Tyrrell versus Gartner. Again, Tyrrell, hands on it. Went down towards Stephen, though, for the Bombers. He couldn't take it with him. Thompson it was, tried to get a kick out. That's been smothered. Wanamir in there. Didn't find a target with the handball. Got the ball up towards the wing though for Thunder. Wasley Black there. Stephen comes in to tackle him. And the umpire will call for a ball up. Tyrrell versus Gartner. Gartner wins this tap. 
Got it down to Sam Pullman. Quickly onto the left boot, sends it inside 50. Wilson King comes out to made it. Caught in a tackle immediately. Coughed up the footy. Ball spills free over towards Phil Cass. He was wrapped up in a tackle. Wilson King goes to ground. Coughs up the handball straight to Stephen. Stephen in towards goal. Pullman's there on his own. He had too much on it. Went over Pullman's head and bounced through for a, a behind. So the margin now four points in favour of Thunder. Or is that five points? Eight, three, two, seven, four. Five points, the difference. Up on the scoreboard is Cameron Island. Brings this one back into play. Looking for Tyrrell, why wouldn't you? Strong body work, strong hands. He's taken the mark on the half-back flank. Having a great game back in home territory, Kendrick Tyrrell. He had to impress his mum who picked him up from the airport today. Kick in towards centre wing. Chambers there. Goes for the spoil. Peaver right gathers after it hit the deck for the Bombers. Oh, he kick. It's a pinpoint pass in the end, and the umpires paid a 50 for that attempted spoil by Ozzy Wanamiri. I don't know. That's questionable. Now, he's claiming he's hit him in the back of the head. Well, to me, that's just a free <laughs> kick or it's the mark. It's happened at the same time. It didn't happen after the contest. That, that would be what should result in a 50. It's questionable at best in my book. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, a shot of goal coming up for Sam Pullman. Should we need the DRS stand? The DRS. Yes. It doesn't work. It does not work. It does not work. Referral mm. system. So, Sam Pullman shoots for goal for uh, the Bombers. Josh Pullman's kicked one, and now Sam Pullman has kicked one. And they get their noses back in front, Redland. 8 4 52 to Andy Thunder. 8 3 51. Almost 11 minutes gone in this second term. Well, they certainly come for the game, haven't they? The Bombers have responded every time they've been challenged. Yeah, they've responded just as they did in the first quarter. And a uh, uh, lucky goal, dubious goal, but uh, take, take them as they come. And uh, the Bombers really needed that one. The ump, he's got it back in the centre of the ground. Gartner stays in the ruck to go against Kenrick Tyrrell. Been intriguing ruck contest, some of these. No clear winner. Will we see a hit out now? And yes. Tyrrell gets it down towards Eilert. Couldn't take it with him. And now the Bombers trying to get out of the pack. Eilert gets a tackle in, but not before Godfrey got a handball over to Brad Reese, who kicks it inside. The Bombers attacking 50. Stephen slung in the tackle by Jack Musgrove. The ball still does spill the Bombers' way. And now they go back inside 50 again. Prior from behind. Big fist on the footy with that spoil. Ball spills down to Gartner. Hurtles a teammate. Gets the handball over to Kieran Daly. Daly's lost it now to Philip Wills. Wills under a bit of pressure. Oh. So too Musgrove. He's taken high. The coat hanger. And he'll get the free kick just inside the defensive 50 for NT Thunder. That was a genuine coat hanger. Certainly was. Short pass. Out wide to Jack McEwen. McEwen goes wider. Still looking for Aaron Wosley Black who gathers it just backward of the wing. All over the boundary line according to the boundary umpire. Uh, we'll get a boundary throw in just backward of the wing as far as Thunder concerned. Musgrove was getting ready mm -hmm. to come off then and then changed his mind to go back to this contest. Tyrrell up in the front position. Get hands on it again down to Wosley Black. He couldn't get an effective handball out. The Bombers do. Veering takes it. Kicks towards centre half forward. A little bit far out in front of Pullman. Gathers on the bounce. Now hooks the kick around the body. He's got Reynolds down there in the goal square versus Rioli and it's bounced into the post. <laughs> Maybe they're a bit unlucky there, the Bombers. Two-point lead now. And uh, Thunder captain Cameron Arlott's just uh, hobbled off there. He looks uh, a bit sick and sore for himself. Jordan Wilson King running out of defence. A handball over the top to Chris Smith outside the defensive 50 and uh, been hassled out of it. The ball over the boundary line for a boundary throw in. I don't know, big Kendrick Tyrrell was in a bit of space here for quite some mm. time calling for it. Maybe just outside Wilson King's kicking distance. And now Wosley Black called on to do some ruck work at the boundary throw in. Wanamiri applies the tackle. Gee, that player's held on to that a long time, Brad Reese. I think uh, no opportunity is probably a right call from the umpire. The tackle applied immediately and, and wrapped his hands up. Couldn't really get it out. Gart Gartner's won a tap, so a couple of taps now going the Bombers way, linking up with handballs. Reese over to Godfrey. Godfrey goes long in towards goal. Reynolds gets there and takes the mark. He can go, sorry, Rogerson it is. He's kicked two already. He can shoot for goal here from only about 10 or 15 metres out. Now he's going to do the Stevie J thing. I don't mm. like this. That's coming from a, the number one Cats fan. Yeah, 
And he's put it through, and good luck to him for getting it. But if you can't kick a drop punt from there, I don't know what you're doing playing a higher standard of footy. And that goes for Johnson and his Cats cohorts as well. Ooh, big call. Cost them a game lately, didn't it? They had two chances to win it against your your fellas. No, not no, mine. Wasn't, oh, no, it was the Crows, no, wasn't it? The Crows, no, no, no the enemy of no, yours. No. Yeah. <laughs> the, only t- the, only, the only time of the year I barrack for the Cats to hand them, they... Boys couldn't get it, get the job done for them. Third goal to Luke Rogerson. Been very dangerous up there as a small forward for the Redland Bombers. And now they just give themselves a little bit of breathing space. A margin eight points. Redland nine five fifty nine. Thunder are eight three fifty one. Thunder kicked the first three goals of the second term. The Bombers have responded with the next two. And Wasley Black into the ruck. Did it last year? Mm, and you got to recall that bounce umpire. That's gone all. Oh. Unbelievable. How could you not recall that? Plucked out of the air by Gartner. He's got the kick to the half forward oh. flag. G. Thompson was met hard as he got that kick away. Ball goes inside 50. He's called that upfield, has he? And the, was it after the disposal? The, the, per, the, perp- the, the perpetrator is injured. Mm. Can't seem to get a number at the moment. Is it Jordan Wilson King, I think? Yes, it is. Which could be second major injury for Thunder. We think it's Bugler who hasn't returned uh, since going down with what appeared to be a knee injury in the opening term. It's uh, Josh Pullman meanwhile shooting for goal for the Bombers. Tide's seemingly turning their way and he puts it through for his second goal and now they've got the margin out to 14 points as Jordan Wilson King carried from the ground. It looked like a very sore buttocks or hip region. Trainers have got him off the sidelines. Kendrick Tyrrell back on, and he'll go into the centre. And I think Aaron Wisley Black would be pretty happy about that. I still can't believe that that centre bounce wasn't recalled. That was terrible. <laughs> He's recalled ones that weren't that bad already today. That was close to the side of the square, well, the little end the circle. Yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say he. Th- there is three central umpires out there. So I'm not sure which one it was before that's recalled them, but I reckon it was number tw- twenty. Uh, let's see what happens this time. It's going to be Gardner for the Bombers versus Tyrrell for Thunder. Tyrrell runs into him. Well, I suppose we can count that as a hit out. He got hands on it, didn't he? Wills got a little handball away. Vassal didn't take it with him. Coming in is Godfrey there for the Bombers. Vassal takes him to ground. We'll get a ball up. And there's a Bombers player coming out of the pack a little bit worse for wear. So Tyrrell using his body in the ruck work again to get the tap away, but Thunder can't clear the stoppage. Philip Wills, the player with the footy. The umpy throws it up again. Again, Tyrrell taps it down. This time trying to get through. Is that Vassal taken high? Finally, we'll get the clearance from the stoppage. Vassal being rewarded for doing what he does best, going in hard. And we'll Ooh, kick out towards right. the grandstand side wing. Ben Rioli in a better space. Marks and plays on. Kicks deep into the forward pocket. He's looking for Ewing on the lead. Gee, some courage shown by the Bombers defender to get back Ooh. there. And cut that off. Daniel Zufa, well done. Dunn had a quick snap in towards goal. That's offline through for a behind to Thunder. Gee, great courage, Daniel Zufa, though. Yeah, very, very, very good courage. And uh, Darren Ewing could have put him into September. Piva Wright. But didn't. Mm. <laughs> Piva Wright brings the ball back into play. That's over the line. Whistle. That's over the line. Fletch, Dale Fletcher spotted it from the commentary spot, so no trouble for the umpire down there. Don't need DRS for that. That was a good size nine and a half footy boot over the line. Big fella, isn't he, Peaver, right? Yeah, we're going to get a ball up. Very easily uh, stands out with the, the, the bright blue boots against the, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the white line and the green grass. Trying to hide it. Gee, thumped out of there from the ruck contest by the Bombers. They might be away here. Leading in the race for it is Brad Howard. Wadamiri was after him. Howard went backwards to get it to a teammate. Wadamiri keeps chasing. Great tackle. Now the footy picked up for Thunder. Brad Vassell's got it in the forward pocket. He centres it up and Lachlan Argus couldn't quite hold on to the mark. He's looking for someone to give the handball off to. No one there wrapped up in the tackle. Now the ball spills free to Zufa. He evades the oh. attempted tackle by Chambers. Got it to Peaver right. And right goes long, and the mark's been taken out on the back flank by Sam Pullman. Gave off the hands, and now they run through the centre. The Bombers, the kick looking for Pullman inside the attacking 50. It's just him and Jaden Pryor. Pullman gets to the footy first. Pryor chases him out towards the 50. The handball off. Nice half volley pickup out there, and the pass into the pocket is good. 
Phil Cass has taken the mark right in front of the scoreboard. Mm, scintillating pass. A good play out of uh, deep in defence. To the Redland Bombers. Gee, I thought they were in then. Vassal did the right thing. Oh, Lachlan Argus just mm. couldn't quite hold on to it. It was a great, great punch out of that uh, uh, ball up from the uh, kick in indiscretion that. Uh, Shot at goal there for the Bombers by Phil Cast, but he can't pull it off. And a point is the result. Let off there for Thunder. Short kick in from Ben Rioli. Marked by Jack McEwen. He gives the handball back to Rioli. Rioli onto the boot. Gee, no one out there no for one. NT Thunder. It's two on one in favour of the Bombers. Getting there. The one done. Good effort to try and hold it up. A way to numbers will win, win out eventually. The kick goes back into the forward pocket for the Redland Bombers. And then rolls over the boundary line in front of the scoreboard. The Bombers lead 10 6 66. Thunder are 8 4 52 as we enter time on in the second term. I think Thunder are holding on for dear life here, Stan. It's, uh, it's uh, quite worrying for the Territory boys. Yeah, just to see the run out of defence and then the kick mm. where there was no one to take it away any further. Tyrrell in the ruck, got hands on it. Ball's heading in the Bombers' direction. Oh, quick snap, gee, great smother in there. Terrific effort, Kenrick Tyrrell. He's the one who smothered. Bit of a pack developing now, about 40 metres out from the Redland Bombers' goal. Philip Wills comes in to lay a tackle. The yep, umpire will split up this melee with the ball up. It's about 35, yeah, it's about 35 metres out from the Redland goal. Tyrrell, another tap. Geez, he's just getting his hands on it continuously, but credit to Redland, they're not letting Thunder get away from too many stoppages with these. It's just a little bit harder at the moment, Stan, I, I fear. Another ball up. Tyrrell versus Reynolds. Oh, Tyrrell had to apply a tackle then, almost a shot in towards goal by Sam Godfrey. Now there is a kick in towards goal. Player in the front position, oh, 15. The umpire's paid it. Pullman's going to have a shot for goal from only about 15, 20 metres directly out in front. Yeah, I think it was about 15.1, but... Mm. It's the a beauty of being in the front position. Zane Pry did everything good to try and get the spoil in. But the fact that Pullman was in front when it left the boot... And a 50 metre penalty, which could have only been for back chat. And so Pullman will go right to the goal line. I don't think he was going to miss anyway, but he's definitely not going to now. Another goal on the board for the Redland Bombers, who do get a little bit of breathing space for themselves now just before half time. They move on to 11 goals, 6 72. Thunder are 8 4 52. Almost two minutes of time on played. In the second term, and that is the third goal for Josh Pullman. Yeah, no, outstanding first half by Josh Pullman, and uh, could have uh, had four or five on the board by now, but uh, that uh, is another goal from a 50 metre penalty, so a little bit of uh, um, indiscretions uh, going uh, mm -hmm. the bomb in the Bombers' favour, but uh, you, you take them when you get them. And it's your favourite comment, that'll be 50. Yeah, that'll be 50, mate. In the words of the immortal Bruce Weir, former CAFL umpire. <laughs> Bounced out back in the middle. Kenrick Tyrrell, yet another tap. This time they clear it. Cameron Islet knocks it forward. The handball over to Matt Rosier on his non-preferred right boot. Gets the kick to float inside the attacking 50. Done there. Ewing picks up now. Handball off to Cam Islet. Islet sizes up the goal but can't bring it back enough. His kick is offline and through for a behind. It's a bit better, G. Very quick with the kick in here. The Redland Bombers. Get it out uh, towards the boundary line to Tom Salter. Salter goes long to the halfback flank. Good spoil, Brad Vassell. First to recover after that marking contest as well. Caught in the tackle. Ooh, he just got it onto his boot. The umpire let things go. The Bombers look like they were away. They are. Slick little handball from Matt Thompson. Set his teammate away. Brad, uh, Phil Carson was left the football behind. Now he receives it. Gets the handball onto Grewer. Grewer from 55 metres out goes long in towards goal. Tall timber there. They had the sit from behind and a snap around the body and another goal on the board for the Bombers and it's Pullman again, this time Sam Pullman. I'll tell you what, since they took him away from his defensive post uh, and put him up forward, he's come into it. He's kicked two goals in this term. Josh Pullman also two goals in this term. Mm. Five between them now. They've kicked the last five goals, three. The Bombers, mm. it's very worrying signs and uh, 
these the Thunder need need the siren. They need it quickly. And again, this game that has gone in bursts continues to do it. This one way and the other stand. It's uh, I don't think there's been. Uh, if you kick one goal, you kick four in a row. Interesting change here. Brant Chambers going into the ruck now for Territory Thunder. I can only assume Kendrick Tyrrell starting to tire a bit. Standing at full forward. Yeah, he would have got uh, back up normally from Jaden Pryor, but he's been forced to go down to full back to cover the loss of Bugler. Now Grewer gets the footy for the Bombers. Kick away towards centre forward. Pullman in front. Good punch from behind by Wosley Black. Tries to go after it again. Josh Pullman pretty good down low to the ground there. Got the handball out to Kieran Daly. Daly out wider still with the handball over to Dylan Byrne. And he's kicked just inside 50. Marked by Phil Cass. He's going to kick for goal from well, pretty well right on 50, I reckon, when he gets boot the ball. They're all over him at the moment, the Redland Bombers. Mm. Very kickable this distance, Stan, with the breeze. So Phil Cass for Redland. Into the middle. Oh, mark. Aaron Wosley Black. One there to put the smother on. He'll have to go again. They wrap Cass up in the tackle. Gets a handball out. It was under a fair bit of pressure. Another handball from Salter out wide. Little kick inside 50. Just over the outstretched fingertips there of Byrne. And now Cameron Islet pushing the ball out of the defensive 50. Then he gathers. Thought about the handball. Changed his mind. He'll go the long kick instead. Nail gun is lurking. Baden now can around it. Oh, clever tap over to Dunn. Now Dunn will go inside 50. Tyrrell can't get there. Ewing to gather the crumbs now. He'll pick it up. About 45 metres out from goal. Well, he's oh, to. well, he didn't pick it up. Bumped off it in the end by Booney. Adam Boone. Ewing goes in to apply the tackle, the ball over the boundary line, and we'll get a boundary throw in about 55 out. He's done very well, Adam Boone. Yes, extremely well there. And a bit unlucky not, not, not to get the free after uh, the Boof decided to uh, smack him around the head a bit after he got rid of it. Went in pretty hard nine. I think he just got another little one there before the boundary thrown as well. Tyrrell there. It was great play by Nalkin to tap it on to Dunn earlier. He is done again. Waiting underneath the floating kick inside 50. Had a good piece but not played. The nail gun lurking around the footy. Taps the ball back out between his legs. And then Lachlan Arga supplies a tackle. We'll get a ball up about 30 metres out from Thunder's goal. Desperately needing one here just before half time. Six and a half minutes time on, played in the second term. And it's the Redland Bombers leading by 25 points. What's going to happen from this scrimmage? Plenty of players going in hard. The Bombers are certainly tackling hard down in the back line. We'll get another ball up. Geez, a lot of push and shove going on just off the footy as well. Yep. And the umpire's going to pick a free kick out of that. Yep, boof, boof. Well done, he must have ESP if he knew what was going on there. The kick out to the defensive 50 for the Bombers. He's looking for Tom Salter. Not paid the mark or paid a free no, kick out front, of it. Front on contact. Front, rightio. So, and Salter. Boof. And Buff gave away the free for a little fingerprint on the chin. Kicks to where Thunder have a numbers advantage. Island up in the marking contest and the crumbs taken by Ben Rioli. He had one bounce and he'll kick inside 50. Ewing, is he going to get a free kick this time? Yes, he is. <laughs> Uh, Buff Ewing will go back and line up for goal from about 35 metres out. We're probably due one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say all things come in three, Stan. Yeah, well, Ewing's kicked one goal so far. I want him to get more than three. <laughs> I, mean, I don't three want that one to come in. Three, oh, three kicks. Three frees in a row. So Ewing shoots for goal. Gee, the goal umpire doing a bit of work to the left mm. there, and that's offline. Point the result, 24 points of difference in favour of the Bombers. Really needed to capitalise on that one, Thunder. Now the Bombers bring it back into play. Kick hasn't hit the target. Cameron eyelet has got it. He's lifting the captain. He's kick inside 50. Ewing there dives. It fell just short of him. Great half volley pick up. Inventive handball over towards Chambers. The Bombers there in numbers. Taking it away now is Grewer. And he'll kick it back towards centre half back. Kenrick Tyrrell lurking. Takes it. The handball Heenan. over to Paddy Heenan. Heenan inside Kick. 50. And right under the chest of Chambers. Chambers turns around. Plays on. And we'll wait on the goal umpire. That's a goal. It's a goal. Marty Borges down there puts up two fingers. He snuck it in. And a much needed goal to Thunder just before half time. Taking their score on a 9 6 60. Trailing Redland at 12 6 78. Much needed. Much needed goal. Fantastic weighted kick by Patrick Heenan. Found uh, Chambers all alone there on the uh, on the rebound there, straight onto the chest and uh, presence of mind to play on. 
and uh, kick, kick the easiest of goals. Still been a reasonably high scoring quarter, hasn't it? Nine kicked in this term, 12 kicked in the opening term. And it's that Chambers goal stopped a uh, five goal run for, from the Bombers, so very, very much needed. Nine minutes of time on so far in this second term. Gee, one more before the break. Would be a blessing for Thunder Rosier, putting some pressure on, making that kick forward by the Bombers a little bit ineffective. Aaron Motlop's got the footy through, traffic the handball over to Matt Rosier. Rosier switches it back towards the Todd River side. Put the footy over the head of Ben Rioli and allowed him to run onto it. Rioli gathers one bounce, gets to the wing, kicks up towards the attacking 50. Aussie one and Miri there, done waiting at the back. Just hurried off the football there by his opponent. Good bustling work by the Bombers defence. So I don't know about that tackle there. Free kick will go the Bombers way. Philip Wills into the back of his opponent there, Brad Reese. And Reese to ease the pressure on the Bombers' defence. Two on one in their favour out here. Oh, courage, Aaron Motlop up now. He's down. Gee, we don't need another injury, NT Thunder. Bombers are going backwards with the handball. Maybe put themselves under a little bit of pressure here. Sam Pullman tried to get it out towards Brad Howard. Howard's got it. Caught That's up. Great tackle. Gotta be holding the ball. Excellent tackle, Shannon Rioli. Coming in to pick it up, Matt Rosier. Short pass. Motlop's back up. Takes a mark. Plays on. The handball out to Shannon Rioli. Calling for it in the pocket. He's done. Lovely pass. Sit Chris Dunn on the chest. He can go back and shoot for goal from 35, 40 metres out. Um, well, there was a great tackle there, Shannon Rioli. Shannon Rioli, magnificent tackle. And for Motlop to get up and recover from that huge crunch and then to, uh, to be the link man to create that uh, this shot at goal was uh, great courage. Well, Chris Dunn kicked one from a similar spot at the other end of the ground. This is the snake pit pocket, though. Tony Hall pocket. It's a tough one here at Traeger Park. Oh, oh lovely, oh, Chris Dunn. He's put it through. He's pretty excited about it as well. He's kicked four goals. And now the margin's back to just 12 points. And, uh, gee, they got a couple extra in time on in that first term, and they've done it again in yeah, the second so term. You've said in the first quarter, Stan, uh, the Red Time Bandits, and <laughs> they've, they've struck again. Uh, Thunder the last two goals, and uh, just just what the doctor ordered uh, going into half time And... Uh, it was, a, it was a great goal, but, geez, it didn't look like a good kick. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably what you got to do from uh, that particular spot. Look, those listening at home that aren't familiar with Traeger Park would think, oh, look, it wasn't that bad. But we just don't see many goals kicked from that pocket here at Traeger Park because the breeze, you, you're normally kicking right into the teeth of any right breeze there is. It's, in, it's into the breeze, and, it, it, and the breeze is usually away from the goals as well. So uh, you need a super boot to get through there. Well, we're down back in the middle. Gee, could we get another one just before half-time and get that margin back to uh, one straight kick? That would be terrific. Bombers want to have something to say about that. Good work here with the hands out of the middle. Godfrey got it away. Gee, Islet tackling hard. Gruer in there now. He feeds the handball out wide to Tom Salter. Salter the kick looking for Pullman. Good punch from behind by Wosley Black. There's a good tackle. He didn't dispose of that one correctly because he only had one hand on the footy and the other was caught in the tackle. Play on a call from the umpire. Trying to barge it through again with Salter there for the Bombers. Now getting onto it is Rogerson. Little kick around the body. Couple of Bombers there waiting for it. Ball just bouncing away from the grasp of Godfrey. He can't keep it in play. And over the boundary line for a boundary throw in. A bit unlucky there for the Bombers player. Just thought he'd let it bounce, bounce up straight to him. And uh, the good old oval ball won out. Oh, gee, Bombers player went to ground <laughs> there in the goal square. A few players getting legs tangled up. I'm glad the umpy wasn't uh, looking that general direction. Tyrrell wins another tap from the boundary throw in. Bombers lurking around it in the forward pocket. Cameron Islet there, bustled over the line, and we'll get another boundary throw in. 12-6-78. Redland Bombers, Thunder, 10-6-66. And, well, well, we're past that 10 minutes of time on again in this second term, but, gee, there's been a stack of goals again. Boundary throw in. It's about 30 metres out from the Redland Bombers goal. They get a snap in towards goal. Brad Reese with a high one. Big punch away from Jaden Pryor. Ball back out Big towards ball. the defensive 50 here for Thunder. G. good hip and shoulder by Chris Smith. Got rid of his direct opponent, but uh, another bomber there to come and pick up the footy. Little pass out wide from Rogerson is good. The mark's been taken by Jordan Bain as the siren sounds. So half time, he can still have a shot at goal here if he likes. He'd be kicking from about 55 to 60 metres out. So Thunder will have to push some defenders back there on the line. You want to check out where that mark is. It's like the umpy's setting at about 51 metres out. So he's going to have to kick from about 53 at best. 
Jordan Bain. I'll tell you what, he's given himself a bit of a chance. Plenty of tall timber down there for Thunder. It will count as a point. So a point on the board to end the second term for the Redland Bombers. And they go to the main break with a 13-point advantage over here.